Year 1971, July, Avignon, France. Fin swimming competition. One of the Soviet competitors, Svetlana Uspinska, shows up to a fin swimming competition with something resembling this. Everybody else was using regular fins. But she decided to use a monofin as we know it today. She beats everyone. Next year the Soviet team shows up with monofins only and they become champions. What happened? Why the monofin became the most efficient, the fastest swimming implement in the world. Happy Monday, Amphinauts and DPV enthusiasts. My name is Marek Swoboda, I'm with Amphi Americas, and today we're going to talk about uh, the dif differences between a monofin and bifins and how the efficiency works in those two cases. Why the monofin is the most efficient fin in existence. You probably remember our video where we explained how the fin works, what's the physics, what's the hydrodynamics behind it, uh, how the surface area and the velocity uh, uh, contribute to uh, a generation of thrust. Today we're going to do a similar thing but we're going to discuss two cases. One where we have a big fin which is connected to two feet and the second case where we have two separate fins and they are uh, operated by our legs separately. Let's see what hydrodynamically happens. Okay, let's get started. So what we see on both sides of this whiteboard is a monofin configuration and a bifin con configuration. We remember from our previous video that the thrust is proportional to the pressure difference between the top side of the fin and the bottom side of the fin. So P is the pressure difference between the top side and the bottom side. Times area, right? Pressure times area is our force. Okay. Now, let's talk about two situations where the areas are the same. Everything is equal. So the area of the monofin is equal to the sum of the areas of those two fins. So when we add those areas together, we're going to end up with the same surface area. Okay. Let's assume also that pressure differential is equal. So P here, the difference between the top side and the bottom side, is equal initially. Let's assume that for both cases, the monofin and the bifins. When we look at, at the fin from this side, yeah, so we flip it like this and we look from this side. Here is the line which represents the, the, the front side of the fin. We can imagine that we have high pressure at the bottom and low pressure at the top and can be reversed of course depending on the cycle of the of the fin but let's assume high pressure here low pressure here what happens at the edges and it happens at any uh, fin any wing any foil for that matter uh, it, 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 it's, it's always the same so what happens at the edges is that the liquid water in this particular case will try to get from the high pressure to the low pressure. If liquid will try to equalize those two pressures, thus it will create this flow from the bottom side to the top side. Of course this effect is going to decrease the pressure differential. So if we have a lot of this leakage going on, the pressure differential P will drop, thus our thrust will drop. Okay? So we don't like this. It will happen, but it's definitely uh, a, a not a good thing for our thrust. 
With bifins, let's assume we have a similar situation. Low pressure on the top and high pressure at the bottom. Yeah? Now we see that we have more leakages of this, you know, from the high pressure to low pressure because we have additional edge or two edges uh, in this particular case. So we will have a leakage on this side, the same we had in here, but we will also have a leakage on this side. And on the other fin, we have another leakage here, another leakage here. So effectively, this configuration has a 50% more pressure loss due to this effect. I'm not saying that these are 50% less efficient. I'm just saying that for all things equal, the losses due to this effect will be greater um, on bi uh, with, with bifins. So this is the, the one, the major difference, the biggest difference between the monofin and bifins. And in aviation, we have a very similar situation where the most efficient wings are very long and thin. So we can minimize the contribution of those edges here to the overall performance. So long, narrow uh, uh, wings are the most efficient ones because we minimize the contribution of those areas to the overall uh, thrust or lift if, if we talk about wings. But there's one more thing which I wanted to emphasize. You can increase uh, thrust by increasing the surface area. Uh, with a monofin, it's relatively simple to do. We can increase this by just adding width to the monofin. With uh, a bifins, you are limited by human anatomy. We cannot increase the width uh, uh, inward, right, between the legs. We, we cannot have a situation where our legs become more and more and more uh, pushed apart because it will increase drag and it will be just difficult to operate. So there are certain anatomical limits to increasing width in, uh, inwards. We can only increase with outwards, but the, the fin has to be symmetrical, at least to a certain extent. If it's not symmetrical, when you kick, it will bend. So we, we, can, we always need to keep a fin uh, uh, relatively symmetrical. So because we are limited here in this area, it also limits our width in this direction. So the only way to increase the surface area for, for bifins is to increase the length. But there are physical limitations to this approach. It, the longer the fin, the less efficient it becomes. It's, it's pleasant to operate uh, to a certain extent because it's a very soft usually blade, but, but efficiency will uh, uh, you will pay in efficiency when you extend this length beyond certain limit, and we will talk about it uh, at some point. But but the safest way to increase the surface area is to make it uh, 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 broader. But with bifins, there is an anatomical limit to it, and these are basically the two reasons why we uh, uh, monofins are stronger and more efficient. You can, you can definitely make them wider and limit the contribution of those areas to the overall performance. And you can, uh, and of course you have only two areas here, while in bifins you have four areas which leak the pressure, so to speak. And also we cannot uh, increase the width or aspect ratio of those fins indefinitely because we are limited by human anatomy. So if you like this video, uh, please uh, subscribe, leave us some comments. If you didn't like it and you have uh, uh, some feedback for us, please share. Uh, like us on Facebook and let's see each other next Monday. Thank you. For